that's not exactly very ninja-like. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at the episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 123rd episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 21st episode of Season 3, titled Changing of the Zords Part 3. We start at the command center where Tommy says that the Rangers will pilot Zed Zords. Zed then says that he'll see them at dusk for the ride of their lives before he gets back to his throne, leaving. We then take a moment to check in on Kim, who is still sleeping on the clear table. Kat teleports in talking to Kim, saying that she wishes it didn't have to be this way in like a evil way, but then she blinks, saying, I really do. There's that goodness again. In the command center, Billy is trying to teleport Kim back, and Alpha is working on detaching Kim's physical body from her power coin. Billy's got her, and she's in one of Zed's dark dimensions, and according to Billy, it's in a dimension beyond their reach. I mean, how did you find it then? Then Tommy says his best line to date. We can't use the front door, there's always the back door. Gross. Then, Billy says that they can use the portal comm from literally the green candle. That's an insane callback. The rangers rush out, passing Bulk, Skull, and Stone who are sleeping in a bush. Tommy then walks through the portal. Zed and Gang are celebrating and Zed decides to check in on the rangers to make sure they're not doing anything to thwart his plan and of course, he sees what's going on. He sends down tangos who surround the four rangers in the park. Ninja ranger power now! Then, Aisha makes the tangas dance? The hell? At least Adam does the old anime trick of turning giant. Meanwhile, Tommy is in the cave and he sees Kim right away. He looks at how to get her out and he turns around to see Zed standing there, pissed off. It's morphin time. Now it's a fight against Zed and the white ranger and honestly, it's great. I mean, Zed is just making fun of Tommy's karate yells before he just completely obliterates him. Glad to know that Zed is actually super strong. Then some tangas see the portal come, knocking it over and kicking it before leaving. Adam and Rocky get there just a little too late before the rest of the tangas leave too. Billy says he'll have to assess the damage. Rita then tells Fincer she needs a monster pronto, and Fincer says that she should wait on Zed. But Rita makes a good point. She gets to run this place by herself. I mean, what happened to Fangenstein? Whatever, Fincer has a perfect monster in mind. At the park, Billy thinks he's repaired it, and Aisha says it's almost dust, so they have to hurry. Also, a monster shows up who is clearly a flasher, who is never named an episode, but he's referred to as the Sea Monster online. The rangers morph, and he shoots weird red things at the rangers, and apparently Rocky just visualized pushing the waves away, and it was pointless. I mean, what the hell is going on? Just get back to Tommy and Zed. Rita sees that the monster is sucking and she says, forget it, I'm getting the zords out. Then it starts shaking and Rocky says that earthquakes don't happen in Angel Grove, despite them living in California. Then sea monster bails as the ancient zords show up. The rangers realize that this means that Tommy must have failed. Rita then appears in the sky telling them that they're powered by Ninjor and also the Falcon Zord. She tells them to get in and destroy their own city or Kimberly's gonna be totally dead. Adam says to give their power coins to Billy because apparently that's a thing to somehow get the power back. I don't know. They all hop into the Zords, logging in. Meanwhile, Tommy gets thrown down, but he takes out Saba, throwing him like a damn dart, and he hits Zed's staff, making it turn back into a snake? The hell just happened? Zed then leaves because of course he does. Tommy then looks at the control panel, and he can't figure it out, so he says, might as well just try them all, <laughs> and he just starts touching things. I mean, good thing that one of them wasn't like a insta-kill button. Tommy scoops up Kim running out of the portal comm. He puts her down on the ground and Kim stirs a little and Tommy calls Zordon. He teleports her in. Zordon then gets Tommy all caught up on the ancient zords and stuff and Tommy gets into his zord now too. Meanwhile, Zed walks in with the snake around his neck and Rita is pissed. He says that the zords will only respond to his command but then oops, just kidding. Billy has reconfigured the zord somehow to be back in the ranger's possession. I'm not gonna lie, this is getting kind of bad. Zed then gets pissed, grabs Rita's staff and he makes sea monster giant. Then the Zords all have weapons now? I mean, that's different. It looks like White has size, which Tommy uses on the monster. Then the five Zords come together, forming a brand new Megazord. The Shogun Megazord. The Rangers are all together and they shoot out... Cherry Blossoms? Whatever, they also have a badass Fire Sword, which they use to destroy the sea monster into nothingness, who then turns into a fireball that turns into smoke in the sky and blows up. Don't know why they'd use that Japanese footage. Meanwhile, on the moon, Rita tries to cheer up Zed by saying that the rangers are weakened because they still have Ninjor and Kim's power coin. She doesn't mention the Falcon Zord, though. That's definitely still with them, too. In the park, Stone wakes up to a kite, and he screams monster running away. 
Bulk and Skull return the kite to a kid, and then they pretend to be scared too, so they can keep their badges. In the command center, Kim thanks everyone for helping her out. She's still tired, but she's okay. Zoran explains that the power coin has been removed from her physicality, and he says that she will be able to morph for now by using the powers of the others around her. Also, apparently, since the Falcon Zord is captured, the other Ninja Zords aren't able to be used. Zoran also says at least they had the Ancient Zord, which he now refers to as the Shogun Zords. I mean, okay then, Zordon. At the beach, Kim and Tommy talk. Kim feels like this is the end of the Pink Ranger, and she's really scared. Tommy comforts her, saying that he'll always be there for her, kissing her on the cheek. The end. Over the credits, we see an extended scene of the Moon Palace gang dancing for absolutely no reason. This episode was 100% the weakest of the three-parter, and it's kind of a shame. I mean, there were definitely things I liked, like Zed and Tommy fighting for once. Also, they totally forgot about Fangenstein. I somehow doubt he's going to be coming back at all. Other than that, it's nice to see Tommy be on the other side of someone losing their powers. And honestly, these three episodes have had the best Jason and David Frank acting I think we've ever seen. When they give Tommy something more than, I'm cooler than the rest of you, he actually does kind of well. Other than that, the rest of the episode is just kind of a wash. But at least the new Zords are cool. Also, now Ninjor and the Falcon Zord are just kidnapped on the moon. A lot of moving parts in this season right now, which is yet another feeling that's unfamiliar for me when it comes to Power Rangers. So, how will the next episode continue the story? I mean, will it at all? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.